Hi guys, I'm Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. I have had a long absence from YouTube. Um, it wasn't my intention. I didn't even realize it had been so long. Uh, we have had some big changes due to the coronavirus mostly in our family. We have been at home constantly since the second, third week of March before the kids even went on spring break and we have not been back. <laughs> Kansas was the first state to just say no more school the rest of the year. Um, my husband is working from home full time and this may be indefinitely. Uh, the kids are with us all the time. As you know, we have six children. One just graduated and so um, he is with his mom mostly. Um, don't blame him because there's a lot going on here. So we have been a family of seven. Um, just kind of living on top of each other and we also have a tenant who um, leases our walkout basement which was a great idea from November to March and we absolutely adore her but it's just a little bit more cramped quarters um, and she is in her 70s and we have been super careful about social distancing and limiting how much we go out but uh, the reason I haven't been filming is because of all these people in this house. There are eight people here a lot of the time and it's very um, seldom quiet and we finally kind of gotten into these, it's kind of early, but because summer break has been so long, we're kind of in the dog days of summer now and um, I've got kids on electronics and chilling and it is, um, it's been a little more calm. We've kind of moved into a routine. We think we're going to go back to school, at least to some degree. So fingers crossed. Um, so I've got one kid out of high school and then going to have a sophomore and junior and then two eighth graders and a fifth grader. So um, been a lot going on. I um, unfortunately was laid off in April. Um, I did have a few weeks there where it really stung. I had been there for five years. However, I have um, really been thankful for how everything transpired and after kind of coming to terms with that and trying to figure out next steps it's been really nice being at home it's been wonderful just kind of being there with Christopher um, I've kind of done what a lot of other people have done as far as um, gardening and baking and all that good stuff but um, I'm ready to film and ready to get more videos out. I missed you guys. And I'm gonna start with a new um, subscription, a new unboxing, and this is Ipsy. I've done Ipsy before in the past. I probably canceled about two years ago um, just because I was getting a lot of items. And while I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup in these last couple of months because I've been at home and um, I'm not working, I'm not doing Zoom meetings or anything and not going into an office, um, not as much makeup but still doing skincare. I still have days where I like to play around with makeup and with my palettes and kind of reorganize them and it, it's been really fun. And I got it, um, it's only $12 a month if you're looking for a subscription just to kind of feel it out and see what you think. And um, I got it and then it got, we did a big um, rehaul of our living room. We got wallpaper down um, and then repainted and everything was kind of shoved away into the garage. So I have two to share with you, which is kind of cool because I can compare contrast. Um, I think this one, I opened them just, just to see which month they were. Uh, this one is May, so let's look at May. And it comes in my favorite color, um, pink. And it comes, mine typically, I think they're coming by the 10th of the month. So I've had these two for quite a while. Um, sometimes in the envelope there's um, extra items, like there'll be a pencil eyebrow pencil or masks or um, I've gotten ones where you have like the tanning mitt and different things so always check before you toss it in case there are items in there um, but this was for May so let's just look at it and this is just a pretty kind of reminds me of the Caribbean kind of a beachy sunset type thing and their theme for uh, May looks like it is get that glow so I bet there's some bronzer in here so it says highlighter 101 powder liquid and cream 
And then they do the add-ons and the sales and all that that BoxyCharm does. I do prefer BoxyCharm to Ipsy, but just trying to just save some money and again, not wearing as, um, as much makeup. And these little bags are perfect just to give a girlfriend a gift. My niece nieces love them so I'll just um, I had given them all away previously so now I've got a couple for myself before I give them away again um, first item is pixie by Petra and they sell this um, brand at Target so you can go in and look at it this is a pretty deep colored bronzer for me it's called beach rose and I don't know if they went through the products um, so I guess with ipsy they do not tell you uh, what it retails for full size or full price. I don't know. I think that it might be a little bit bigger at Target. Don't quote me on that, but I do like their products. I have um, very similar in size to this. I have a highlighter that I've been using. So um, this is sealed, but again, it is um, kind of a deep color as you can see how pale I am. Um, I have been out gardening and walking and all that good stuff, but um, this may be one that I pass along, but I'm going to check it out. So it's nice to have a bronzer. And then the next item I see, this is called the Catherine Malandrino Special Moments Eau de Parfume. I never say that very well. I love these perfumes because you can just put it in a crossbody bag or, um, keep it in your cup holder or, uh, it just... In the diaper bag and they don't take up hardly any room I don't know if it says what scent it is but these are awesome and it's 0.34 fluid ounces so this is similar to what you would get at um, like Ulta or somewhere so let's it has a spray so this is not a roller ball let's see what it smells like it's really nice it's floral kind of beachy in a way maybe like a tiny hint of coconut or hibiscus or something in there so I really get excited when I see these these are lovely and um, wow it smells really good so I think that uh, my husband Christopher is gonna like this scent on me so that is a, a thumbs up there next item is by Wonder Beauty it is their nude illusion liquid foundation I will warn you that with Ipsy and some of the other bags like Birch Box, Birch Box and some of the other subscriptions you're going to get a lot of stuff from wonder beauty um i haven't had the foundation a long time i'm this is fair light which is perfect for me i think i'm going to like this and these are wonderful to travel with i do like wonder beauty i just i don't need five of the same mascara tubes <laughs> uh, this one is looks like an eyeliner and it is by Ciate London I do like this one this is called fierce licks for some reason and you'll get a lot of eyeliners too um, black eyeliner you can never have too much um, you're supposed to throw them away every three to six months so don't mind that at all um, I'm not a huge eyeliner person just because I rub my eyes a lot. I wear glasses. I, um, I'm outside. Um, my husband and I are pretty active and it, I find that it doesn't stay put. So, um, and I don't want to spend $36 on eyeliner from Sephora. So these are wonderful. And whoops. Last item in the May bag. This is Auto Bomb Pick Perf Shadows on the Go. So this is a tiny little shadow. This is cardboard um, and it opens. It looks like a little matchbox. Um, and then it says for girls on the go. And then this says St. Charles Avenue, which makes me think of St. Louis because I live close to St. Louis. This is a pretty uh, neutral color for eyeshadow. I always appreciate these as well. So um, for my May bag, my first one back with them, they totally paid attention to my profile. They, they um, saw that I was fair skinned and no skincare products, but um, I do like the bonus of the uh, spray perfume that is really easy to transport. So I'm happy with it for $12. And that spray perfume will probably last me if I throw it in my purse now <laughs> in my crossbody bag and I spray it, you know, right before we go out or um, as we're returning home, 
I'll probably have that in my bag for the next three to four months before it's gone. So that is perfect for me. So I am happy with the May bag. And then the other one I have, of course, is June Ipsy, June 2020. And there are loose things in here, as I warned you there may be. So now it is empty. Um, inside the packaging I got the pouch so you can see that they do the different zipper pouches let's compare sizes since I'm doing two at once so this is the June bag this is the May bag so they're typically about the size they vary a little bit they're they're normally not very big and they're kind of um, they're plasticky they, they feel fairly soft, but they're not super cheap. But again, you can re-gift them. You can um, put items in them, those of you that travel a lot. This one for June, I love that they're like real sized. You probably don't know if you can see very well. Real sized women and they are on beach towels and living their best life. So this is really cool. But inside the packaging, we had what looks like two masks. This is by Hana Lei, I believe it's how you say it. Um, this is Hawaiian, but made in Korea. This is a pineapple brightening full face mask. I have not tried these before, but these are the type of masks that you leave on 15, 20 minutes. Just relax while you're watching uh, Netflix or Hulu. And the other one is moisturizing. This is the pear face mask. So. Um, I like the shapes. They feel really thick, like there's a lot in there. And remember that um, when you put it on your face, there's going to be a lot of essence. Rub it into your decollete, rub it into your neck, rub it on the back of your hands. Use all of it. So there's a lot in there. And um, oh, they're cruelty free. So that is a bonus as well. So two masks. So I'm already liking, um, I've already made my money back on the $12, already liking it. So let's see what is inside the pouch. It looks like the theme for June 2020 for them is make waves. And they're talking about um, here comes the sun, five ways to maximize your SPF. And there is a contest to win $1,000 if you are interested in that kind of thing. And then the products within, oh, there's four. So in addition to the face mask. So first one I see is, this is an SPF 50. I'm Pure Perfect Sika. I love Sika cream. Um, what it does is it tones down the redness. Um, typically it's green. Let's see. It's sealed so I don't want to open it. But this is a SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. I'm not sure exactly what that does but it's by Suntique. This is perfect to just keep in your purse just in case you end up going to a restaurant, you're sitting on a patio and the sun shifts and or the umbrella shifts or you trade seats with someone and then you can put it on. I'm really good about SPF, which is why I'm so pale. Um, so that looks to be good. hope it doesn't make me break out. <laughs> and then next item is Hey Honey Trick and Treat CC Cream. This is light to medium tone. So this is a good size package. It's about bigger than the palm of my hand. CC cream is wonderful this time of year. As you guys know, um, I'm 40. I don't wear full coverage very often because it shows the fine lines. So these are great on the days, like I said, when I'm gonna be out gardening with the kids or I know we're gonna go on a long walk like we did this morning um, or we're gonna have a fire pit, that kind of thing. Don't need to get all fancy to stay at home. <laughs> and then uh, two more items. Oh, this is a brand that I really, really love, and it's Sugar. This, you can see the color. It's kind of a deeper mauve, which I love. And then it's like a crayon. These are fantastic. I've had this brand before, and I like it. Um, I don't know if you can sharpen these. I just kind of use them. They dry out faster than a cream lipstick. And um, it's also cruelty free. The color that I received is Viola and they are made in Germany. And last item in our summer June 2020 Ipsy pouch. 
looks like a highlighter and this one is shrink wrapped <laughs> so it is very um, same size and kind of match matchbook type uh, I think it's probably the same cardboard as that eyeshadow that I showed you in the May bag um, so I'm just gonna hold on to that and put it in my highlighter because you're gonna get a lot of little things like this from Ipsy and be like do I want that do I want to pass that along um, so even though I'm not even though my career is on hold right now and I'm not at the job that I enjoyed so much and around the people that I enjoyed so much we were kind of trading trading Ipsy um, contents and boxy charm and that so even though I am still friends with so many people there and we're talking we're just not seeing each other and it won't be quite the same so I don't know how much of it I'm actually gonna open up and keep for myself what I'm gonna pass on to those friends when it is time to see them again I, I won't see them daily obviously um, and then several of them were laid off as well so and that that's that's um, I was working for a door company so that's how it works in the construction business. When things are good, they're good. When things are bad, they're bad. But I was uh, thankful to be able to have all those women that I saw every single day to be able to pass along to. So if I do have a job like that again, I will report back and of course keep you guys in the loop um, if I've found new people to trade with. And new people with, it's always exciting to meet new people in different skin tones and different routines and hear about whether they despise makeup and skincare or they're as obsessed with it as I can be or if they're somewhere in between and if they're interested in trading with you or what subscription boxes they get if any and um, that's kind of why I share on my channel even though I am a Sudsy consultant I'm really interested in makeup and skincare too so I share it with you just to show you what's available and what you're gonna get for your money if you do sign up for $12 a month for Ipsy and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for subscribing and for checking out the video. I will see you very soon. I will not wait so long for the next video. Um, I will most likely be post posting my July skincare routine because I love um, those skincare routine videos and July is a good time to kind of up your game with your skincare because the weather can, for me at least, <laughs> having dry skin, those of you with oily skin are like, mm mm but it is a good time for me and I will be sharing what I'll be using in July. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.